Samsung over the months has been hitting the market with some pretty mid-range and budget phones. Among these is the Samsung Galaxy A30. I had the opportunity to spend a day with this device. Let's see if it's worth considering among other mid-range phones. Hey everybody, Innocent here and here is my review of the Samsung Galaxy A30. With a Gorilla Glass plastic frame, this device has a 6.4 inch full HD display, an Infinity U Super AMOLED display with 1080x2340 pixel resolution and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. You get some very vibrant, popping and contrasting colors which undoubtedly makes this device very good looking. Samsung can't go wrong with colors. I'm not a super fan of notches but the teardrop notch on top of this phone which also houses the selfie camera is really classy. Watching videos including YouTube videos on this device, it's pretty awesome. The device looks very sleek and very thin and it's also very light to hold. At the bottom of the device, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, the USB Type-C connection and the speaker grill. On the right side of the device is the power button and volume rocker keys. On the left side is a SIM slot that houses a 2 nano SIM and the micro SD card. At the back, we have the fingerprint sensor, a flashlight and the two rear cameras which we will touch more on later in this video. The Galaxy A30 comes with a new One UI based on Google's latest Android Pie and is packed with an octa-core Exynos 7904 chipset coupled with either 3GB or 4GB of RAM and a 32 or 64 of internal storage with up to 512GB micro XD. Performance on this device generally is great, apps run smoothly, switching between apps is great, multitasking isn't bad as well. However, this device isn't a gaming phone so you might experience some delays when playing some heavy games. Other cool features such as the night mode, blue light filter and the ability to change the navigation buttons are extra plus for this device. The device has both the face unlock and the fingerprint, yet the fingerprint proved to be faster and very reliable than that of the face unlock. The phone features a dual lens setup with a 16 megapixel primary sensor with an f1.7 aperture and a 5 megapixel ultra wide sensor with an f2.2 aperture. For the selfie lovers, Samsung did you a lot of good by placing another 16 megapixel in front of the phone. The camera app and settings have everything sorted. It has a very nice interface and also very user friendly. You are provided with lots of options to choose from. The images from the selfie tend to have great contrast and saturation which I love because I love saturations. Images from the back camera however weren't as saturated as the selfie. But then it has some sharp and very decent colors. Here are some more sample shots. The camera on the Samsung Galaxy A30 might not be the best camera out there though, but you would definitely love pictures from this phone. For videos, you can record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second with some decent colors on this device. So this is good if you are considering a budget phone for your YouTube videos. Video stabilization, however, isn't great on this phone. With a sizable battery capacity of 4000mAh, the phone lasts a long time but you know that depends on who is using the phone right. I spent almost the whole day shooting videos with this phone yet had enough battery left which even lasted for the night. So basically, you'll be able to get through even the longest days 
on a single charge with no issues and with moderate use you should get a good two days between charges isn't that awesome finally you have your nice friend the quick charging on board so you are all set be expecting closely to two hours for a full charge on this device my only problem with this phone is the audio the quality of this device is not that really good it's not that really loud lacks depth and very tiny if you're a fan of high bass sorry but this phone isn't for you here is a sample of the audio from this phone The phone currently sells for 1,090 cities on Jumia as of the time this video was posted. If you look at the A-series line carefully, Samsung is trying to get each and every one sorted out. So with its gorgeous screen, beautiful design, Android Pi based clean software and massive battery, forgetting of the fact that it's not suitable for hardcore performance and intense gaming, this would be an easily recommended phone for anyone who wants something awesome without going bankrupt and that's pretty much it what are your thoughts about this device do share in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye